This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Friday, December 4th, 2020. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We've been talking this week about stillness. We talked yesterday about the season of Advent. And the one announcement that I have today is that this Sunday um, we're doing a pulpit swap as I go up to preach uh, with the First Unitarian Church in Omaha and the minister there, Sherry Woodbury, comes to preach in Lincoln. And we're both in different ways touching on this theme of Advent. But rather than a long update uh, for this Friday afternoon, I'm going to share a poem by Jan Richardson. The great liturgical seasons inspire great art, and, and for me this is a poem that's been ringing like a bell this morning. It's entitled Gabriel's Annunciation. You can read the story in Luke if you want. For a moment I hesitated on the threshold. For the space of a breath I paused, unwilling to disturb her last ordinary moment, knowing that the next step would cleave her life, that this day would slice her story in two, dividing all the days before from all the days to come. The artists would later depict the scene, Mary dazzled by the archangel, her head bowed in humble ascent, awed by the messenger who condescended to leave paradise to bestow such an honor upon a woman and mortal. Yet I tell you, it was I who was dazzled, I who found myself agape when I came upon her reading at the loom in the kitchen. I cannot now recall only that the woman before me, blessed and full of grace long before I called her so, shimmered with how completely she inhabited herself, inhabited the space around her, inhabited the moment that hung between us. I wanted to save her from what I had been sent to say. Yet when the time came, when I had stammered the invitation, history would not record the sweat on my brow, the pounding of my heart would not note that I said, do not be afraid to myself as much as to her. It was she who saved me. Her first deliverance, her let it be, not just declaration to the divine, but a word of solace, of soothing, of benediction for the angel in the doorway, who would hesitate one last time, just for the space of a breath torn from his chest, before wrenching himself away from her radiant consent, her beautiful and awful yes. It's Gabriel's Annunciation by the poet Jan Richardson.